Hey everybody, Will Tompkins here, Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin with episode number six of Three Beers and a Whiskey featuring Bobby Bookout. Here's beer number one. Hey everybody, Will here at Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin tonight with Three Beers and a Whiskey. I have joining me Bobby Bookout. So, uh, <laughs> We're very, very, very happy to have him join us on the show. Also uh, co-hosting tonight, back there serving us the drinks, will be the lovely Marissa Cruz Tompkins. So we've got a little bit of people in the, the audience hanging out and my basic crew. So we're just going to get to it, drink some beer, and, uh, you know, thank you very much, sir, for joining us. I appreciate it. And uh, for everybody out there, congratulations on the new album. Thank you. Uh, B? Is that, the, is that B. actual B? B. That's like it's so, the second one, so... Well, that it's not a B-side, man. That's like kicking. It's like Led Zeppelin 2, but it's mm. not Led Zeppelin. Uh, All right, no, that's not bad. My book got Led Zeppelin. Um, so, uh, eight years. Was it really eight years between the first and the second? Yeah, it was eight years. I uh, got engaged. You engaged. were the first one married. Yeah, I got engaged and I got married a year later. And then uh, we made some baby boys. And... Uh, so baby Bobby book out boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we started a business. Started a business. Yeah. My and now is that is that your so what your plug out to the school? Basically a manor, if you're moving out to Manor, Texas, we are the premier preschool in Manor, Texas. I don't even know which coast I'm looking at. I can't watch it. If you're in China and you move to Manor, Texas. We have Manor, Manor Texas, Texas, right there. That's where you want your preschool. Kids to go. Don't call it a daycare, my wife will not be happy. Preschool. <laughs> Hey, we're doing base preschool. Yeah, she's watching preschool. Um, so uh, yeah, it was, it was fun watching you, uh, and, and I really appreciate it. you did a lot of like keeping the world in touch with what you were doing. You set up the school. It was, it was cool. a big thing. Yeah, so. Well, yeah, I mean, you guys flat out on, and that was kind of from the ground up. I that mean, was a total roll of the dice. Catherine and I had moved to Maynard um, when we moved out there. I was working for PayPal at the time, and um, Catherine was teaching over on the east side uh -huh. at a, a school for kids with developmental delays. And anyway, uh, it was cool that we had our second kiddo, and we were looking for a place to put him because he wasn't old enough to go to the school she was at. So we were literally walking the dogs one night, and um, it was like, "You think we can do the? What? We just opened a preschool, and it was totally. I mean." We didn't, have, we didn't have any money, we didn't have a place in mind, I mean, it was, I mean, it was just a conversation. Well, that yeah, yeah, it was one of those things, it was one of those ideas where you're like, this is eventually going to get shot down, which I, I'm notorious for having these ideas, just feel cap on today, but it's like, this is eventually going to get shot down, something's not going to work out, and we'll have tried it, and cool, whatever, and lo and behold, you know, here we are, we've been open for now for two years. Two years? Yeah. Is this yeah. right on a main... It's right on 290, as you're going out of Austin, it's going to be on the left, on the north side of the highway. And it's, it butts up to the uh, Shadow Glen Golf Course, right there. So. Oh, Shadow Glen Golf Course. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a website for the school? www.busybmainer.com. Awesome. Is Busy B, is it a franchise or Busy nope. B is just that's that's all? That's, that's us, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, it's another play on the letter B, Will. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> There's some alliteration going on there, my brother. So I met Bobby. God damn, it's been. 12, 13 years. I mean, I met you before the first album dropped. Yep. And, you know, that man right there, Donnell Robinson, you know, rest in peace, brother. Um, that's how I met you. Right. You opened a show at, do you remember, <laughs> way back in the day, where did y'all all was perform at? It was, like, it was at the Dirty Dog. Oh, Dirty Dog, yeah, yeah. At Dirty Dog. So, um, Don L just one day we worked together and he was like come see one of my shows so I went to Dirty Dog and this kid in this white t-shirt is throwing down the most amazing it was ridiculous I was like he's doing muddy waters and then wait wait um Costello that was Costello right you oh, Costello, yeah. and it was just still playing those songs yeah. and you know what 
they still you still kill it playing those songs. Okay. This album's been a, a long while in the works, right? Yeah. And I keep pointing, sorry. Yeah. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> so it, the, I'm pointing at the album for a reason. <coughs> it's available at bobbybookout.com. Bobbybookout.com. What about on any really other... Oh, it's on iTunes and Spotify and all that stuff. But well, uh, do you, Don't get it on Spotify, you guys. It's Spotify. Okay, there you go. Don't do it. Spotify, I mean, it's cool. Just go to Bobby... You know what? Wait, wait, wait. Go to a Bobby Bookout show. There you go. Buy his disc at the show. Then there's and no... Then find something. Then you're go, to go to Walmart and buy something to play it in. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no, 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 man. You gotta have a hard copy. Dude, oh, whenever we, whenever we uh, got those, I, Catherine and I were looking at it and we're like, cool, this you know, looks good or whatever. Um, and then it was like, oh, we should probably get Catherine and like, we, should we listen to it and make sure there's audio? The <laughs> and um, oh my god, they sent you a thousand copies of a blank CD. With we actually, CD actually, on. I downgraded to five hundred. Uh, we went to try to figure out some place where we could play it, and there was no, like, mm. neither of our cars have a CD player. No kidding. Yeah, so I, ended up, I took it to work and quietly listened to it at the beginning and, and end of everything. I was like, hey, cool, there's something there. So, so uh, part of our studio audience online wants to know where you're from. I am from a small town in South Texas called Carrizo Springs. Is this from Facebook or from you? Carrizo Springs! From Facebook. From Facebook. Yeah. Carrizo Springs, Texas. It's about two hours southwest of San Antonio, uh, kind of down by Uvalde. There's somebody else that's from Carrizo Springs that's... I'm going to Google it. Please, Google it! I'm curious. <laughs> Ask YouTube and Facebook. Huh? Ask YouTube and Facebook to look it up. So there's somebody else, musically, country music team, that's from Carrizo Springs. Besides Bobby. But he's not really country. But... We, you know, see, this is the funny thing about drinking beer and bullshitting, is we get off. Is Sam I, I don't know. Is it a girl you're thinking of? It's a girl. Well, see, I'll go back through my, because me and you sat down when you were at, was it uh, Blake's studio where you were recording, doing some recording? Uh-huh. And uh, I came in with uh, Angelina yeah. and we did interviews with you. Yeah, and I think I probably sounded just about as dumb as I do right now, but this is live. So I'm dumb, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and I remember I posted one of those clips. You're like, take it down now. I was like, oh, dude, really? It was the best clip. It was good. Take it down. But yeah, in part of that interview, you had mentioned something about, oh, well, so and so is from Korea. Or wait, was it the college? What college did you go to? Oh, okay. Now that, yeah, South Plains. South Plains. Bunch of people from there. Yeah, so Natalie Mays from Dixie Chicks went south. That, okay. I'm See, like, I'm not I'm completely I'm insane. I'm I knew. Like, Google was like, are you feeling lucky? I was like, no. <laughs> No, uh, okay, yeah, that's what it is, is from the college. South Plains South College, level line Texas, yeah. Uh, one of the best moves I ever made uh, on the South Plains. You didn't ask me this question, but I'm diving in. Uh, I was getting out of the Navy the first time, and I was looking for a place. Getting out of the Navy the first time. Yeah, when I got out, so I got out after four years. I did four years of active duty, and I, was kind of, I had a love-hate relationship with the military the whole time I was in, because I don't show up to stuff on time and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I told you, you know, stuff on time. You but, uh, you're pretty much close to eight. I did, it was close to eight. Uh, but no, I, I was getting out, I was in the process of getting out, and I was trying to figure out how to get the next movie. Was. And I was either going to go to school for ag science or music, and, uh, it's, you know, close to your mind. Yeah, yeah, Texas, ag science, music, same thing. Yeah, so I, I applied at, uh, Texas State, uh, and then I applied at South Plains because I saw it was I was randomly watching somebody at CMP on on the ship I was on, and they were interviewing Leanne Womack, and she bought up South Plains College, and she so she was from there. So that's who it was. Yeah, Leanne Womack, uh, Natalie Mays from Dixie Chicks was also out, out there. Um, there's a, actually a lot, a lot of people, especially the country music scene. Mm-hmm. Started off as a bluegrass school years and years and years ago, and then it's totally turned into this full on. I mean it. It's, it's amazing. It's anyway, private. so getting back here, yeah, they, uh, I, I applied at both. Uh, Kimbra Quinn, I still remember her name. Hey, Kimbra, if you're listening, she's, she was the girl at South Plains did, uh, that did all my admission stuff, and I, it just, man, fell right into place, and I was like, I guess I'm going to South Plains, and almost backed out of doing the music thing. It was super scared. It was like, obviously not a smart move. But it was just, and, uh, just outside of the first time you were in the military. This is in 2002. Okay. Yeah. So I'd done four years and um, was getting out. And anyway, so I, I just I swear. I met you right after that. Yeah. 2007 was when I moved to Dawson. Okay. Yeah. So I uh, I uh, ended up going out going out there, and I mean that's the reason I'm sitting right here. That's the reason I have 
you know, all of my brothers in Austin that I play music with. <clears throat> all those guys, Kel Richardson was there, Blake Atwell Blake Atwell. Kale, was there. Blake. Uh, yeah, I mean, a slew of... of Matt Slagle? Like, no, Matt was oh, not. Matt, no, not a part of that. Matt, I did meet through Kel, though. And so, um, anyway, amazing, amazing people. Some of the best ones I'll ever have. Some of the most amazing musicians uh, in, in, the, in the time I was out there. But, okay, you're part of that group now. You're part of that amazing musician. <laughs> I'm one of the. You can be. You can be modest about I'm a lucky it. But, no, it, it, it's serious. Uh, guy. There are there are um, some really. I, and, and it was really. I mean, I, I've known a lot of really really great guys that came out of that school. But that class I was in. I mean, that sort of group. That that, that period I was there. So I went in uh, 2002. I was there for three years. I'd gone back in the military at the time. So that third deployment with Iraq was in 2000. Five and six. Is that, so, was, that was all your inspiration of this. So that was for a couple songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was from home actually. Uh, and then uh, came back and I finished school there. So I spent four years at a two-year school. And uh, <laughs> but you know, uh, a music degree doesn't do anything. Y'all heard that right? And four years at a two-year school. He kind of blew through that really quick. An associate's <laughs> degree in music does nothing for you on paper, but the people that I met and uh, I mean the knowledge that I. While I was there, and the, the friendships that I have uh, going long lasting forever, for sure. And, yeah. I, and it's totally helping now. I mean, this record, I mean, Scott Ferris is the guy that produced uh, both records with me, and he uh, amazing. He was the um, head of uh, guitar studies, I think is what it was, how it was out there when I was there. And anyway, he sort of jumped off a cliff and went and opened his own studio in Lubbock, and he has by far, I mean, he's got the, the studio in Lubbock, Texas, right now. Nice. Um, Flatline Calvary's. Uh, Really, really awesome bands that I love it, or, or had that is, he he produces that uh, he's done all of their their stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, Scott's amazing, and he was my instructor actually out there. And I didn't know Scott for a while while I was out there. He was like the cool guy, and uh, I ended up taking a class with him, a group class, and then we sort of vibed real well. We ended up doing a one-on-one -on -one class and and uh, uh, like a private lesson, and our private lesson was just about. Let's talk music. Let's talk career stuff. Let's talk, you know, next move. I mean, we didn't do. It wasn't a guitar lesson. It was just right. like, talking you know, a little bit of songwriting, a little bit of stuff. So Scott's a really cool guy. In love it. You need to make a record. Amusement park studio. In love it. So music park studio. Amusement park. Amusement park studio. Yeah. Yeah. Let's um, talk beer. Oh, beer. Oh yeah. Over here. Pass it on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, she's bring it out. Oh, she can cheers you, but. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, so uh, right. now, at Moon, one of the places that you when's your okay? Wait, 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 let's just let's get real for a second. When's your next show? That's a great question. <laughs> Will Tompkins, for me and everybody here, three beers and a whiskey. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, make sure if you uh, like what you saw, you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe. And also click on the notification bell so that you won't miss future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey. Thank you all very much.